Hey guys, Captain Smash, Smash's Kitchen. Um, today we we're doing some food prep. So we just finished some great workouts outside, some conditioning with the prowler and the sled. And then I went into the gym and hit up some squats and some deadlifts and some more accessory work. So it's been a great day so far. But now it comes down to the real deal where you're actually having to prep, prep all of your food for the rest of the week. So now if you saw my post earlier in the week, you realize I didn't prep enough. So today we're going to make sure that we've prepped enough. We got some veggies. Now I like to do my veggies all on big trays. That way we can bake them. That makes it really easy to do. We're gonna do some ground beef. We're gonna do some uh, taco meat. And then we've got two different kinds of uh, chicken thighs, all of which I've marinated before. So I've got some honey, uh, honey mustard uh, chicken thighs. And then I've got my own special recipe for a little bit of a Korean slash Chinese food type um, chicken thighs. We're gonna throw those on the grill and get them all fired up and we'll see how this goes so um all i'm basically going to do to the veggies is just give them a little salt and pepper and throw them in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes so that's pretty much about it so anyway stay tuned we're going to have some more videos on some quick trip quick tips for food prep all right stay so tuned. we're still uh doing some food prep we got the oven at 375 We've got our broccoli and cauliflower in there and then on the bottom we got those honey uh, chicken thighs so that's one of your big tips is just like you know try to cook all of your food at the same time that way it saves you a lot of time so I've got the oven going I've got some meat in there I've got some veggies in there I've also got the grill going and I'll show you that here in a second so we've got the Joe down to about 250 which is the perfect temperature for cooking these bad boys so we've got a nice roaster chicken some of those marinated chicken thighs that I had in there. I'm gonna let the thighs go for about three hours and then the roaster chicken probably about six, so yum. Um, so I'm just doing a little food prep for a couple of my clients here. So I always start, once the food's all prepped and ready and kind of cooled down a little bit, I'll start doing some of their main courses here. So we got a little bit of starch in there. I typically use rice because rice is really portable. It's really easy. You can reheat it fairly easily and it stays good. You use potatoes. Sometimes potatoes turn out to be bleh. And uh, I've, I've been battling with trying to keep potatoes fairly firm forever. There's a way to do it, but it's really complicated and it's hard to get them to maintain their consistency over time. So most of the time I just kind of neglect those and I don't really do a whole lot with them. So, but the starch is really easy because you can pre-cook it, you can get it out ahead of time. Um, and I can manipulate it very easily. I kind of just using a little ice cream scoop so somebody with a lot more carbs well they get two scoops versus one scoop so and that's about a third of a cup of overall carbohydrates so most everybody that I train wants to be on a very fairly low carb diet because most of their goals are fat loss so that's generally what we're we're going for there we're just keeping it in the fridge so it stays cool And then I got my pre-cooked veggies, which we'll get a little pair of tongs and start divvying those out a little bit. So what we got here is a little bit of seasoned broccoli and onions and cauliflower. And little do they know there's some hot peppers in there too for a little extra kick. So they might get bite into one of those and be like, oh, this is kind of spicy. So now you can see that I have some meals that are a lot smaller. So some of my gals get a little bit smaller portions, obviously. So, and I got these little baby, baby portion sizes versus my guy sizes are a little bit bigger. Now that's just common knowledge, you know, common sense. Like, well, women need to eat a little bit less than men, especially when they're going for weight loss. So, um, that tends to work out really well. I like to scoop in a whole bunch of vegetables for these guys. That way they have enough to chew on. They're getting all their vitamins and minerals and they're able to keep charging hard. And then we'll add in the meat, we'll stick lids on them, and we'll be done. Now I really like doing this method because 
I've got everything prepped and ready to go. I cook my starches first and I put them in the fridge generally the night before. That way they're cooled down, they're ready to go. And then all I have to do is mix up my vegetables, put those in the oven or pan fry them or whatever I'm gonna do to them. You can even, you know, just cut them up and leave them cold for whatever reason. Um, and then you gotta deal with your meat. So typically, the night before, I'll prep my starches, and then I'll prep my veggies, and then I'll prep the meat. If I'm marinating any meat, or I'm kind of got to do some pre-work on that, I'll get that all set up and I'm ready to go. Okay? Stick it in the fridge, forget about it, come back the next day, boom. Cycle the veggies into the oven, cook them off, start your meat. Okay. Right now my meat's um, still cooking, I got that. And then we've got some chicken right here in the oven, Yep, and it's about done. So we'll pull that sucker out. Some nice color on those chicken. And then we've even got the grill going. So this is a multi-step process, but you can make it really simple. It doesn't have to take all day. Generally, I'll get done with meal prep in about maybe two hours, and I'm cooking for myself, Renee, and two of my clients. So easy stuff, right? So now we just uh, portioned out the meat. Uh, I got two chicken thighs um, for my one client and then one little chicken thigh for my female client. And we got some taco meat in there. Also a little bit different portions. We're gonna put some fresh, uh, fresh chunky salsa on there. Just kind of add a little zing. So these have a lot of pepper jalapenos in them, so they're gonna add a little bit of extra kick to their meal, but that'll be good for them. And it's super tasty too. Got some nice fresh cilantro that we're gonna top on those bad boys. And then we'll be ready to rock. go so that was pretty much how I prep meals for everyone we're just gonna let them cool down and uh, put some lids on them stick them in the fridge wait till tomorrow then deliver it's gonna be awesome Captain Smash smash the strength lab check it out